Well, well, well. Look who's back. Last time I told you, I warned you even, that this time I would come back even stronger. I have a little intro card now, so it doesn't just start with me pressing the start stream button and then like immediately trying to jump into it. No, I pressed that start stream button, oh, and I was just chilling. Did some troubleshooting on my phone. Look at this, it's perfect. We're ready to go. I am, as always, and and yes. And and yes, today we are kicking off our first Variety Monday. Isn't this crazy? I came up with this idea on Friday. I was talking with a couple people in chat about it. And I was like, we should do like f half an hour of like four games on, uh, on Monday. And I'm proud to say that I have at least three lined up, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And if any of these, uh, any of these games catch your interest while you're watching, um, you know, let me know and we'll play more of them. Um, so I suppose, without further ado, let's jump into the first game of our first Variety Monday, and that would be Cheese Quest. Wow. Never seen a game quite like this, except for Inscription and, uh, and all the other games that kind of look like this, but <laughs> I've never found one like this by myself without any help. Hey, Spoon, happy Variety Monday to you as well. Thank you for joining. If I recall correctly, you are a first-time chatter. And by if I recall correctly, I mean the Twitch notification informed me when you put something into chat that you were a first-time chatter. So thank you. Thank you for showing up. And I'm super glad that you're here. Let's jump into Cheese Quest. Hello. Welcome to Cheese Quest. The objective of this game is to eat the cheese. Nothing more complicated than that. Do you understand? I gotta say I do. Seems pretty simple to me. I suppose I just drag you over here. Ugh. Before starting the game, I must warn you. This game may contain cartoon depictions of blood. This may be upsetting to some players. Is this okay with you? Yeah. I think my stream is marked off as mature anyway, so... Yes, that's fine by me. Excellent. Excellent to you too, my friend. This game may contain patterns of flashing lights that could possibly induce, uh, induce undesired effects from disorders such as epilepsy. Please consult a medical professional before playing this game if you have any doubts. Are you okay with this? Um, Spoon, as I believe the only person in the chat at the moment, um, I just want to double check. You're not going to be, you're, or I mean, you're not photosensitive, are you? Also, how's the game volume? All good from Spoon. Alright, I just turned up the game volume a little bit because I'm worried it might be a little quiet on the stream. So, we are okay with this. Thank you. You are ready to play. I hope you enjoy your time. That's a cheese. You guys ever hear the, um, like the, the more cheese equals less cheese conundrum? Oh, dude, the game's over. I, eat the, I ate the cheese. What are you doing? Stop it. You can't eat the The, the more cheese equals less cheese conundrum is a, I don't know, it was like a, a meme a little while back, but it's cheese has holes in it, or this type of cheese has holes in it. The more cheese you have, the more holes are in the cheese. The more holes you have in something, the less of it you have. So, more cheese equals less cheese. Pretty uh, hard to argue with. This cheese is not for you. You guys like the voice? It's my, uh, it's my buff guy voice. Why do you want this cheese? If you want this cheese. This is nice. 
Got some seeds. They can be eaten as is, or grown for sustainable food. Let's begin. Let's look at the anatomy of a card. Cards have five different components. Attack, or how much damage it can inflict. No, seeds have none. How much health, or how much damage it can take before dying. Seeds have one. Great chance for a ride. Food intake. How much this card will eat per turn. Seeds don't eat. That's true. Unless they're eating the sun, light. Ever thought about this? Food value. How much food? Oh, I didn't quite read that. How much food it will provide. Okay. Seeds have the growth modifier. After a turn, they will grow into wheat. You can always right-click a modifier to see what it does. Ten food points, you win. Alright, so give me another seed. At the end of it, to end your turn. At the end of your turn, you will eat. Make sure not to starve. I feel like that's a good... It's their attack. A card with this mod will provide its food output value in food every turn that it is on the board. Cool. We're in the green, baby. One more turn. Oh, hello? Is this the CEO of Gaiman? Have we just won? I believe, yeah. Well, thank you for telling me things I already knew. All right, bye now. In a perfect world, Life is rarely so perfect. Do you guys know that one? It's the same guy that did Potion Cellar. He, he goes, In a perfect world, men like me would not exist. It's very worth checking out. I think it's called In a Perfect World. Animals need to eat. When you place food, it will eat your food. No! It will continue to eat every turn. The calf will keep getting hungry. How insidious. Ratbrain69 also loves Potion Cellar. What's up, Ratbrain69? First time chatter. Welcome, welcome to And And Yes. We're playing a little game called Cheese Quest. Uh, we're requesting to get the cheese. Um, which I feel like, realistically, that's what we're all doing in life. It is your turn. Ah, Ratbrain69's getting their nails done. Love that. Are we a rat for chance? I don't know. What am I doing? Sorry. I did read. Oh, draw a card. Um, I believe we are... We might be a rat. We tried to eat their cheese and they freaked out. They were like, you have to burn your cheese. Yo, it's a cow. You now have a cow. But at what cost? Every turn, your cow will give you milk! <laughs> for now. Allow me to remove the cow for you. No, my cow! This is Horibel. I love me cow. You have no modifier, I believe. You just give me food. Once again, we've defeated game. This is easy. This is a binky baby game for babies, I think, if I recall correctly. You have achieved cheese! Let's go! Cheese! What the heck? What does it do for us? It just has um, a lot of food value, I suppose. No! Gamer moment. What the? What are you doing? Poisoned? Cat. 
tabs and seats the basics of food. Let's increase the difficulty. A rat! Rat brain! It's your kind, your your kin. Yeah! Look at that guy. Ah, is the music too loud? How's that? Is that better? You will see. Is it still too loud? It's a little loud in my headphones. Ah, perfect. Groovy. Well, thank you for letting me know. I would have hated to continue on with the stream like that. So yeah, for everyone just arriving, um, this is Variety Monday. It's the first Variety Monday of its kind. We're going to be playing, hopefully, four different games today. And if any of you guys like them, uh, then, uh, then we might keep playing them, or we might play them another time. Uh, but this is the first of the four, and to be honest, I'm having a great time. It's giving, uh, it's giving inscription, um, not even in, like, a bootleg way. Like, in, like, it, I think it's, it's its own take on, like, the tabletop card, like, genre, and I don't know, I think almost, to some degree, it perhaps does a disservice to, uh, nice. I don't know, to game genres to always compare them to other other games, you know, it's like, sure, there's a lot that reminds me of Inscription, um, but there's also a lot that I think, you know, is meritous in this game by itself. You know, the idea that your goal isn't to defeat your enemy, rather your goal is to feed yourself, um, but you need to use food that consumes the very thing you're trying, or you use animals that consumes the very thing you're trying to grow. I think you guys get what I'm saying. Am I stunlocked? Yeah. You're at a standstill. Very well. I shall provide assistance. Is this guy trying to... Wow. Pick up the knife. Good. The rat. Dispose of it. I'm sorry, rat brain. Um, <laughs> the rat only just got here, but he's gonna eat all our food. Well, bye rat. Good. By sacrificing your cards, you gain food based on their worth. Rat brain, not only are we maybe killing you, but also maybe eating you? It's your turn. Oh, draw a card. I don't want to play the rat. Well, this is the gameplay loop we got ourselves into. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> Sorry. Assigning me worth based on my status as a rat. SMH. No, I'm sorry. The rat The rat was super helpful. It was necessary um, earlier. Rats are awesome. Um, just, uh... It's, uh... Necessary to continue, I suppose. Good game. You've done well. Remember... You can sacrifice anything, not just animals. We have nothing left to teach you. I get one seed. Let's play for real. All right. Um, I'll start with two seeds and yeah, that'll be it, that's fine. Hmm. It is your turn. Ratbrain says, my boyfriend plays a game that kind of reminds me of this, but you're a wizard. I should ask him about it. Hmm. Well, if, uh, if your boyfriend lets us know, then you, well, if your boyfriend lets you know, let us know what that game is. Because maybe we can check it out. Also, I'm grateful that this game is very low intensity. It's not like, you know, like Delta Manifold, I was trying to do all those like trick shots and jumping a bunch. 
Um, oh, rot. Um, yeah, because I was out yesterday with a couple of buddies. Oh, the calf is good, though. Um, can I kill this? Oh, no! That's not good. I think I made a, an oopsie. Mm, but I'm just going to go back down, too. Yeah, so I was out with some buddies. And, uh... Yeah, I tried to do a handstand. And I think I... I must have jammed my hand or something, because... I, uh... Because uh, I, I, you know... I don't remember this at the time, but, like, my hand really aches today. It's not bruised or anything, though, so... Um... Mm, build this back up. Uh... We might be out. Mm. But the cow's gonna give us milk. Um, yeah. No, it was a it was a really funny night. But uh, I'm not playing you, rat. Um, it was a funny night, but I have entered starvation. How about this? You cannot draw. I want to play milk. Oh, and I can... No, I don't want to do that. Um... Yeah, it was a funny night. We went to, like, some beer gardens, and... On the roof of one of these gardens, they were like, Do a handstand! And I was like, Okay! Because... <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'm a pushover like that. Um... Let's see. I don't know, can you guys do handstands? You cannot draw? Dude, play on milk. I think I I think I got this guy. No, see then the, the wheat brings it all back. Alright, so the rot's gone now. Jeez! And now, check this out. I pick up... Oh, I can draw cards again. I pick up my knife. And I get my health back with the cheese. Oh, sorry. I'm getting another call. Oh, hello. CEO of uh, Great uh, Games. Uh, great Gamers. That... Yeah, it's, it's me. Hmm. Alrighty. Cheese time now. Actually, I think... I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, okay. We got it. Hmm. I do like flies. Flies are pretty interesting. Yeah, we already have a calf. What a... I didn't read, actually, what the flies even did. I just picked them up. <laughs> what do they do? They, um... Are those scissors? Oh, they're, no, they're my phone. Hmm. Um, yeah, I... <laughs> so, Ratbraid says I can only do a handstand with the assistance of a wall. Um, or an assistant. Uh, yeah, I had an assistant. They got a boot right on their head. Like, they didn't catch my legs as I was going up and over. And it... Right there. <laughs> All right, what do flies do? Do they eat rot? Maybe they eat rot. Okay, maybe. But they give no food if you kill them. I actually feel like the wheat should be in the back row. How about this? No, my flies. Hmm, that's fine. The rat can't move, so what are they gonna do? Everyone, are s there, you guys are sending some like really weird, like creepy robot faces in the chat. It's like Bomo Core. You guys ever? It's like that's the one that Spoon just sent into the chat. All right, 
put a calf over here, my front line, and my turn. The calf gets hungrier and hungrier, but, yeah, Rat Brain also doesn't like them. Alright, so you place another rat down, but, I think I can get it this turn. What? One, two, three, four. Yeah. You got lucky. Spoon thinks they're neat. Rat Brain doesn't like them. Fight it out, I suppose. This is how much you eat it for, and this is how much it eats. Let's take the doggy. I would have chosen differently. Okay. Well, you're not playing my cheese quest. So we're about five minutes off the half hour mark, um, which is when I said I would swap over and, and maybe play a different game. How are you guys feeling? Do you guys want to go for like 15 more minutes of this, then check out what else we have, or, uh, or are you guys uh, growing tired of, of Cheese Quest? I'm enjoying it. I think this game is actually a lot of fun. Um, it's simple, and I feel like it also has the ability to like really, really pop off. Like. Um, and not simple in a bad way, simple in a, uh, like, this game, um, makes me smile kind of way. Rat Brain still doesn't quite understand the mechanics of Cheese Quest, so they'd be down to keep watching. Alright, so, I mean, I can try and explain it quickly. So you plant the seeds. This little number on the top right of the card, uh, which is a 1 here and a 2 here, uh, is how much they can be eaten for. This is how much they eat each turn, and the player eats one each turn. So you're trying to fill up this bar by getting as much food as you can, but also balancing that with sort of deflecting from the onslaught of creatures that your opponent is putting on the board by getting like these little mercenaries, like my dog or the rat. Yeah, so I went down three and up two that time, because I ate one and the dog ate two. But now I'll be going up uh, three, because I have wheat as well. And if I put the rat down on the board, then the rat will eat one, kill the toad, and then I can eat the rat. Unless the rat uh, dies by itself. <laughs> what the heck is that, that emote? It's like a... It's a funny little, like, uh, beagle. Alright, the rat isn't going to do anything, so... Hmm... How about this? Where's the rat going? No! My wheat! I think the toad poisoned the rat. I think you're right, because it... Yeah. Um... Do I have enough to sustain? It's eating two, eating two. I only have one left. Mm. Sorry, <laughs> I think I have to make some uh, tough choices. You're gonna give me stuff, but you, I don't, I'm, I'm not pro any of this. Can I maybe just kill <laughs> their rat? <laughs> what are you trying to pull? That was the voice I gave. Him. What are you trying to pull? That was the voice I gave him. Um, sorry, dog. <laughs> Starvation is set in. That's not good. I didn't realize that the rats, uh, when they attacked, I got hungrier. Hmm. I think I might have to make a desperation play. Yeah, I think that was the right thing to do. Now I'll lose two again this turn, but if I can keep drawing more wheat, all of a sudden, I can start a granary. That's what I'll do with my time. Get out of here, you stinky rat. Um, yeah, I'll uh, take all my wheat and uh, beer it up. Alright, buy my, buy my rat. Snake! 
Oh. This is not ideal. All right, so I'm gonna lose three, gain, I'm gonna lose four and gain one. Damn. Oh shit, snake, that's... Mm. Put it there. I don't know, yeah, I have a big X here now because I suppose I starved once. How about this? No! Um, hell yeah. My mercenary dog. Get rid of this... Snake? Mmm... Right. What do these do? Venomous? A card with this mod will inflict the poison mod on any card it attacks. Strong stomach. A card with this mod cannot have the poison mod. Okay. Yeah, get rid of the snake, it's more dangerous. Ah, uh, I'm starving again. Alright, so I'm at not maintain. I'm at I'm I'm losing. Alright, you're gonna have to block for a turn. Oh man. It's getting worse. Don't do that again. I'll try not to. We're gonna lose our first try. Sorry. If we can have the calf grow into a cow, we're off to the races. Never mind. <laughs> the cow is immediately gone. Uh, and then I can kill the rat. Mm. Oh, no, I can't. Guys, if we pull through, if we pull through this, that's how I think we'll get another call from the CEO of gaming. Also, by the way, today's mom fuel um, is a delicious coffee. Uh, yet again, I must state that I'm not sponsored in any way by whoever made this cup. I just like it a lot. It's also like almost as big as my head. And today it's almost full of coffee. Mm. And I think this has given me the power to defeat you. Also, I was looking up the, uh, the terms of service on Twitch the other night. You are allowed to play drinking games with people uh, on your stream, so long as you don't incentivize the drinking games with money. Um, so, uh, this is probably what I'm gonna do sometime. Maybe we have, like, Variety Monday and then, like, a Tipsy Tuesday. I don't know. <laughs> what do the flies do? I should... I should card with this mod will turn any food type card opposing it into rot at the end of the turn, and then die. <laughs> Sounds like you guys are down for, for some uh, Tipsy Tuesday. I don't know if it'll actually be Tuesday, I'll, I'll probably need some time to like think about it and set it up, but uh... No, I don't need to do that. Um, but, I think it could be a good time. Look at my bountiful harvest. I feel like this is what this game is all about. No, I don't play you. Okay, okay. No cards? Alright, good game. Brought it back from the brink of defeat. Alright, I think we need more seeds. <laughs> I, think, I think we need more basic cards because... Alright, I think this is a pretty good start. Mmm. The Sicilian defense, if you're familiar. Mmm. -hmm. 
More wheat, please. Nice. Alright, and then we bring it back. Alright, what are you gonna do? Hmm. Alright, what- you're poisoned, I think. No, you're milkable. <laughs> what happens when you're poisoned? But I don't... Alright, well- oh no, because I guess it changed from a calf into a cow, so it no longer possesses the, uh... The poisoned sigil. Alright. This is a much more bountiful harvest than last time. Milk, baby! And that's how we get to cheese. Um, all right, sorry, poisoned. Card with this mod will die after the number of turns listed on the mod. It will still eat. Okay, well, why don't you die now? And then, dog, milk. Cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> Rat Braid, I, I see your comment, I just don't know if I want to read it out loud. <laughs> they said, feeling submissive and mil submissive and milkable. Um, honestly, same. It's, uh, it's, it's looking to be a bountiful, beautiful harvest. And with this, we've won, I believe, because my milk turns into cheese. Your snake eats my rot? What good does that do? Uh, we have to draw. That's Cheese Quest, baby. That's Cheese Quest. More seeds. <laughs> I should have put it in the back. Alright, what are you gonna do? Seeds? Nice. Look at this. Beautiful harvest. Fields of gold. That's what that's what that movie story is about? I can't remember. Yeah, you take out the snake. And we got a dog in the pocket just in case anything goes wrong. How about that? Is this top tier gaming? You come out as a buffer, you come out. Nice. And then if we eat our wheat, we should be good. This guy's a pushover. Oh. Card with this mod will inflict a poison mod on any card that attacks it. It eats one per turn, though, and you can't kill it for, for food. I'm taking more seeds. This is a full-on seed build. See, this is the perfect opening. Mm-hmm. Very nice. So, how are you guys doing today? Like I said, I, uh... Jammed up my hammies, my handies, hammies, that's my hamstrings. Um, jammed up my, uh, hands, and, uh, but aside from that, and the hangover, I'm feeling pretty good. What are you guys doing, a, a Monday night drink? Monday night drink and twitch and hang out with your good friend and and yes? You have a lot of homework. Are you a... A school friend? Very studious. Oh yeah, I forgot, it's Labor Day. Happy Labor Day, I think. Um, Hmm. 
I'm also having a chill Labor Day. Hanging out with my friends, Ratbrain69, Spoon1818, and, uh, and Bingistan is back as well from, from the stream we did on Friday. Uh, welcome back, Bingistan. Um, I missed you. Does this, uh... I use it to celebrate unions, but that might just be me. No, that's fair. Uh, love a union. I said love a union and, you know, thinking on it, I realized that might have sounded sarcastic. I do love a union. I think they're useful. More than useful. Oftentimes necessary. And apparently what Bingistan is doing with their day is the just sending the, the cursed robot face into chat over and over. I should get some like um unique uh some unique emojis. They're not called emojis, are they? They're called uh I can't remember. Um whatever Twitch calls them. Emotes. That's it. <laughs> you can tell my brain's firing on all cylinders today between these amazing cheese quest plays and uh, and forgetting what an emote is. Hmm. That's the one. Yeah, emotes. Whoa! Those are some awesome emotes. It's like a frog going like... And then like a guy going like, wow! Like... He, it, it would look like he was crying if you couldn't see a big old smile right behind his fist. I don't know who that guy is, though. Um, yeah, you block a shot. We've hit equilibrium. Darn. Okay, um... What do we got? More seeds, okay. That wasn't too bad, actually. That was a good turn. Oh, do we get their meat as well when we kill them? Oh man, I didn't even know that. Okay, so I, I should be killing more enemies. I thought they were just kind of there and like annoying. Alright, that was a big hit, but... I don't know, let's just use seeds to block a hit. It sounds good to me. Ah, Spoon sent some, uh, some referees all going like this. I think this is touchdown. As a big sports fan myself, as, as a big, big sports fan, I know that this is touchdown. They go, yeah, touchdown, because they're doing the, um, the goal with, with their body. You know, and, and the football is going through the, through the goal, through the touchdown line. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's a uh, football baby. You block a shot. That's cheese quest. Alright, so it's been it's day seven, it's been a week. I'm just taking more seeds. Um How far does it go, do you guys know? Probably not, I mean oh, terrible starting hand. Hmm, something's gonna come out and kill my seeds, though, I think. Yeah, oh, never mind. He's just gonna make me hungry. Oh my god. <laughs> I had to do it. I, that was brutal. What the? Stop! That's so many dogs. <laughs> All right. Um, you block. You kill. We'll get two food back from the dead dog, but we're also gonna lose three. But we'll gain one from the wheat. But we're also eating. I don't know. This is gonna be a whole mess. Give me another rat quickly. What? Stop! 
<laughs> You're crazy. What the heck? How am I supposed to counter this? All I've been taking is wheat. Well, I think that's us. Hmm. Maybe I do a desperation play where I... Well, if I kill both of these... No, because I'm protecting more by keeping them up and letting them die. I think that's it. Do I get a second chance or is that game over? What happens now? How disappointing. You have perished. Perhaps you require some assistance. Let's see. Yes. This should help. I don't need assistance. I was doing pretty well. I got eight days in, I think. An ancient artifact. Some say it can tell the future. Next. Pick one of these as a base. Yeah, I do like the calf. Very well. Next, choose a card to augment its stats with. The dog stats are pretty good. I see. This is like that part of inscription with the camera. Choose a card to pass on modifiers. Um. Oh, you grow up, right? That's your... Okay, yeah, grow up. Double grow up. Stinker. <laughs> excellent. Truly excellent. Whoa! My stinker is massive. Alright, give me stinker. Alright, so now we've been going for 45 minutes. Um, what are you guys feeling? Do you want to run this through another time? Or, uh, what the... Or do you want to move on to the other games I have lined up? Because I am enjoying this, but I also I have some other games that I want to check out with you guys. Um, and we can always come back to Cheeks Quest. Me just waiting for response. That's what you have to do when you're a new streamer, I suppose. You just gotta, like, whatever chat wants, chat gets. Um, and then if chat is divided, they can duke it out amongst themselves. While I sip my... Tasty mom fuel. Alright. That's the vote. We're gonna check out another game. Alright, so... Boom. Now it's quiet again. Oh. This game, uh... This game that I was gonna play? Just needs a quick update, because it came out today, actually, so I'm excited to be checking it out. Maybe even the first ever uh, check-outer. Let's see. Okay. Um, one moment. Can you hear that? Can you hear that music in the background? All right, let's see. Um... And we have the game up right now, hopefully. We're checking out Egghead Gumpty. <laughs> so I saw this I saw this game on like a you know games that are coming out soon. And I was like, that's a hilarious name. Um, then it turned out it was a scary game. And I was like, what? Um, for a little context, I hate scary games. 
I'm such a wuss when it comes to stuff like that. I don't know why. It's stuff that is intentionally scary. I feel like I like my clever brain is like no, like you know they're trying to make it scary. Like they're trying to elicit an emotional response. You know, just just don't feel that. Um, but then my uh, you know my 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 BB Bo BB brain is like whoa. It's so scary, so... Yeah, we're peeping Egghead Gumpty. Um, volume okay for everyone? I'm just gonna assume yes until told no. Um, so if I scream a bunch... Um, yeah. I'll be screaming. If I scream, you guys have to promise that at home, you're gonna scream as well. Press T to answer. Sketchy. Let's go get this guy's daughter. Alright. Purple doors continuously appear randomly. Barging causes unwelcome sounds. Uh, the green ones have batteries, the blue ones have keys, and the, the game is pretty quiet. Okay. Uh, one sec. I'll just get through this and then... The, if the eye icon appears, you are being watched. Find and scare off your watcher quickly. Run from agile threats. They tire quickly. Pointing UV flash at threats is the only way to survive. Eye color of small size threats reveal temporary weaknesses. Okay. Um, let's see. Is that better? Is that more suitable? Sound appropriate? Warning, the pause menu will not save you? Oh, it's getting in. What is this? Ah. You hold to collect. Um. Let's do... E! Kick it in! Yeah, I got him. This game is scary! <laughs> it actually is, I don't like it very much. I don't like how, like, photorealistic and weird it is. Like, oh my god, I'm being watched. Where? From where? Alright, I got got. <laughs> what the hell? That's so goofy. <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw, but I, I did give a... Your little jump. I don't know. I get I get so sucked into uh, uh, T to answer, T to skip. All right. I get so sucked into like the world of um, these games. And yes, it is a jump scare, scary egg. Um, that's why it's called Egghead Gumpty. Oh, and actually, give me a second. Sorry, I need to update the category. Egghead Gumpty. Stream info successfully updated. Cool, cool. Love that. Alright, once again, you will find me barging in the door. Let me in. Alright. Now this time, ain't no egg gonna get me. Alright, alright. Already off to a better start than last time. Alright, alright. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, a box. Okay, okay. Grabbing up these uh, presents. Alright. And we, we keep going, we keep going. Everyone, shout in chat if you see the egg. Uh, where, 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 where? Do I flash at you? What do I do? <laughs> I, 
I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> what am I? What am I doing wrong? Are you guys? Did I like not read the? Uh, did I not read the instructions carefully enough? Alright, so we heard this before. Oops. Alright, so, yeah, I... Spoon, I also kind of have no idea what's going on. We're rescuing this guy's daughter. And we came in through that door. But Egghead Gumpty's out to get us. Um, Alright, so maybe I should go through the way that doesn't have... That where I don't have to break down a door. Um, but we have to, like, flash lights at Egghead Gumpty to make him go away if he sees us. Or maybe we just run away. That sounds like a plan. Alright, this time I'm gonna be smart. No banging down the door. Whoops. Uh, R. I didn't get it? Alright, T. Fine, whatever. So, did Egg take the daughter? Is the daughter Egg? Uh, it could be either, actually, you know? The daughter could be inside the egg, maybe. It's possible that Egghead Gumpty did take the daughter. You're entirely correct. But it's also possible that Egghead Gumpty is the daughter. I love door jamming minigame. I don't. I didn't get it right once. <laughs> Whoops. Oh man. I feel like after that first jump scare, most of the most of the tension has has uh, fallen away. Cause boy. Cause it looks so goofy. What the hell? Alright, I'm leaving. Uh, what? <laughs> and what is this ending screen? What is this ending card? I have so many questions. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna try it again. But this time we're gonna listen to what the guy says at the beginning, because maybe he gives some clues. Um, even though I'm a terrible listener. Fuck, Mary kill. Egghead Gumpty. Disembodied voice and flashlight battery. I think I kill the disembodied voice. Kibboot says they would fuck the egg, but I don't know. I feel like I'd marry Egghead Gumpty. And Kibboot would marry the battery. Okay, so we're just swapping the order of uh, of of who we're fucking and marrying. No, I, you, you're insisting on fuck egg, but I don't think you understand. If you marry the egg, you potentially get to fuck the egg every day. I feel like the... Oh, excuse me? Oh! <laughs> That was, that was a very real reaction. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> okay. One more try. Because we haven't seen that before. Alright. Yeah, what I was gonna say before something started running at me was, um, I feel like the jump scares need a little more oomph, like, you know, they- That's art, baby. Whoa. That's cool. Um, I was gonna say, I feel like the jump scares need a little more oomph. Um, let's get this minigame down. 
Oops. Um, you know, like, maybe, like, Egghead Gumpty, like, runs towards you instead of just, like, jumping out from nowhere. And then that thing ran towards us. That was awesome. Uh, that one, I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe we move on to the next game? Or do we try Egghead Gumpty one more time? Because it's, it's the story mode. I feel like, ah, oh, there's... I'm trying it one more time. The runs are so fast. I feel like we gotta give it a real effort. I've just been messing around. No, this time, all the Gumpties are on the line. Alright. Pure focus. Pure adrenaline. Get out of here, you Gumpty. Oh yeah. Alright, he's still following. Um, oh my goodness. Stop. Uh, uh. Uh. He's gone. <laughs> I like this thing. Alright, let's open this purple door. I feel like the purple doors appear randomly and that's probably important. One out of ten keys collected. What? <laughs> Alright, I agree with Spoon. Next game. <laughs> this game confuses me. And it, it, it very well may be, you know, that I just didn't read the instructions well enough. I was, I was eager to get into the game. But... I don't know. I feel like this game could maybe use just a little bit of... Just a little bit of hand-holding. A little more as like, you know, the purple rooms appear in some places, but do I want to go in the purple rooms? Like, how do I get rid of the, like, little teddy bears that sit around and, you know, the egghead Gumpty, when he's looking at you, like, you're supposed to shine a light at him, but I'm, I'm not sure what color light. Um, anyway. Bye, egghead Gumpty. Alright. Now. I've been really excited for this one because this has one of the favorite names of a game that I think I've ever played. Um, let's see. Properties. And, alright. This is. <clears throat> This game is called Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk And we're playing it. Um, it just has such a cool name. <laughs> it's like, I, I gotta check this out on stream. Um, once again, let me know because all these games are mixed differently if it's uh, too loud or too quiet. Um, agreed, Spoon. Milkable. Help me buy milk. Okay. I walk down the road to the store and rehearse my speech. It's been so long since I've been out of the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering a store. I'm going to the store! Who are you talking to? I'm imagining as if I were a character in a game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? Can't say I haven't done that before. What game? Well, you know. There are games where you can see the character's thoughts right on the screen, you know? 
So I thought, if someone is reading my mind, I don't need to be very focused, so I don't blurt out too much. Oh, I need to be very focused, so I don't blurt out too much. That's like the opposite of what I'm doing. Um, I am not focusing at all and just blurting out the first things that come to mind. Um, I take a deep breath of air. Hello. Can I? Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Crap. I forgot. 19th attempt and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So, once again. Hello. Can I get... Wow. That's a whole word more. Thank you. I'm trying my best. I think this time, the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello. Can I... Ugh. I wish I hadn't said anything. I want to be nice to this person. They're trying their hardest, I think. Don't worry. Okay. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. What? My right foot is frozen in the air. How much? 50 steps on the pavement and 51 in the grass. You have to undo the previous step. <laughs> how did? How do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on. I, I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Ugh. Here we go again. So. Step one. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Wait a minute. What do you mean, step one? What then? This game is... Okay, so I know I'm just reading out, like, what they're saying, but... Is, is it me talking to them? Is it them just talking to themselves? There are like three voices. There's the one where you're selecting what they're saying next. There's the one where it's them in quotes, and then it's the one where it's them without quotes. It's an interesting, interesting idea. Um, but it's already the 52nd. Or wait, I'm going backwards. So then it's the 50th? It doesn't add up. Okay, okay. Step 50. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Could you rephrase it just a little bit? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so... You will be very, very guilty if you don't buy milk. Damn, really? Well, are you ready? Hell yes! I carefully move my foot backwards, looking carefully into the dense grass. As I enter the store, I turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I? Oh. Excuse me. What? Oh. Oh no, no, that was... Oh. Excuse me. What? Oh. Excuse me. What? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. You shouldn't have done that. He's obviously not going to change his lines. You run the risk of ending up in, in an endless loop. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. What? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me. But how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? I like this sprite, by the way. What's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you. 
Explaining won't be enough. Wow. Something like that. This game's neat. I like it. I mean, it's, you know, s simple in terms of, like, you just click on things. But all the games we play, for the most part, are, are pretty simple. But this one, I don't know. Something interesting to it. Has some nice ideas. So, I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? What? Oh. <laughs> I gather all my will into a fist. Oh? Oh! My interlocutor? Cooter? Locutor? I, I don't know if I've ever seen that word before. Shook and crawled away. Can someone define this word for me? Interlocutor? I assume it's like a... Like an antagonistic character, but... Kibboot, once again, the auto mod is holding some of your chat messages. Uh, sex-based terms. Will I allow it to be posted in the chat? I guess I will, but only to, uh, to put you, uh, on display. Think about what you've done. Just kidding, you just said cooter, it's fine. You just repeated after him. And it worked. Do it more often. Interlocutor. Conversationalist. Thank you, Kibboot. See, the, 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 the scales tip once more. You get... The, the auto mod wants to ban you, and then you help me with the definition of a word that I haven't heard before. Keep at it. Wait. I said he crawled away. Did he really crawl away? I mean, I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Just now. Personally, I didn't hear it. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. I'm standing by the shelves. On the rack there are bags of milk. We both stand, and the milk lies? Or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you even remember why you're here? To buy milk. So buy it. Right here? What do you expect me to say? Um, I guess something like, not here. Not here. Take the bag and go to the cash register. Yeah, that sounds about right. I also have a fear of milk. <laughs> not buying it, just it in general. This coffee, it's oat milk flavor, baby. Mom fuel flavor. It reminds me of, um, in college, when we would, like, get together and, uh, you know, have a little drink, have, you know, some of the marijuana cigarette, and then we would, like, go to a 7-Eleven that was around the corner, and I would walk in, I don't know about everyone else, I would walk in and immediately, like, I, like, couldn't see, I, like, couldn't think or feel. Like, the lights would hit you, because, I mean, it was, it was nighttime, so the lights would hit me, and all of a sudden it would be, like, a, like, a flashbang, and I would, uh, I would just be, like, stumbling around, like, grabbing bags of milk, like, speaking to the, to the third person in my mind, you know, like, oh, do I buy the milk here? And they're like, no, you gotta take it to the cash register. Um, yeah, just a thought. <laughs> also, um, our guy guessed the first sentence. And you, as if out of spite. No, that was the voice I was doing for Cheese Quest. And you, as if out of spite, didn't pause before the second one. You want to rob me of my little victories? I sigh and reach out to take milk. Or rather, the bag with the milk inside. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. 
Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Sorry. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside. Come on. Come on. 15 minutes before the store closes. Hurry up. I remember what these games are called. Visual novels. Yeah. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full. With letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But there, the authors are not lazy. So don't get lazy either. Hmm. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your mouth. Eh eh. Ahem. Anyway, you heard me. Hurry up, or you'll get it at home, or you'll get it at home again. Oh. I'm on my way. Hello, C can I g get some milk, please? <laughs> like this guy. You have it. Ah. Give. I put a weighty bag on the register. Of course, not just the bag, but the milk, too. Hi, can I have it, please? No. Please! No. But please! Mom will throw me out the window if I get back without milk. No. But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? Pay for the milk. Haha. <laughs> really? What would I do without you? I take a crumpled bill out of my pocket and hand it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. It took about two days before he nodded contentedly and put it in the cash register. Thank you. Goodbye. I walk down a familiar street, past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my hand, reminding me of the days when I was in physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the checkout, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk in another bag. You guys ever had a ba like bagged milk? I never have, thankfully. Um, sounds like a nightmare. Although, it does provide a unique opportunity to have a, a milk water balloon fight, a milk balloon fight. Um, they come pre-packed. Um, Swin says it sounds a little odd. I, I would have to agree with you. Although I know it is real. There is that... I think it was like... Yeah, there was a post that was about bagged milk. And it was like... I can't remember. It was an old meme. But it was like... You know, what are they doing in Canada? Like... Although I don't think it actually was Canada. I think it was like... The US. Um, anyway... I feel, yeah, with bagged milk, you can't open it like you would, like, you know, a bag of chips. You would have to, I, I suppose, like, uh, cut, cut the corner um, of the milk. Cut the corner of the milk. And then uh, you tilt it. But then, okay, but there's actually then an issue of, like, you cut it at the top, right? And then you're holding the bag of milk and you, you tilt it to pour, like onto your cereal. But if you're holding it down too low, then the weight at the top of the bag is going to overwhelm the, the plastic because the plastic is flimsy and you're going to try and tilt it back, but it's not going to want to tilt back. It's going to keep going over, over the side and the milk's going to keep coming out and you're going to splash milk everywhere. And I'm thinking, carton milk is better. Also probably better for the environment, right? You can recycle the the cardboard cartons. Unless they have like plastic all up in them. I don't know, I don't really know. Um, bags of milk, baby. <laughs> don't think anything of it. I just love the pyramidal, pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. Guy uh, loves their uh, their thesauruses. 
The gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Spoon says like a Capri Sun, maybe. Like, uh, yeah, like you get you get a really big straw and you pierce it into the bag of milk and then you just squeeze the bag of milk and it comes out the straw and you like angle it. Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile long bar of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? As if I tell you. But I'm really interested. Well, look. The ratio of water to milk in the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. And yeah, ice cream is not the best. Unless you want to drink more than you eat. More than to eat. Anyway, the road from the store to the gas station is a stick. And the road from the gas station home is ice cream. I think I get what they're talking about. During today's walk, my body has been to every part of this path. Yeah, it's a thing of, um like desire I think like going home after feeling like you've accomplished something um maybe no no the game will probably speak for itself simple math I see I feel movement under my feet asphalt grains petrol stains I'm trying to keep my balance and how do people move over something as uneven as city plain? Gently, heel to toe, I count in my mind every meter of the path I walk. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out! Huh? Oh, don't break the bag of milk, buddy. I unconsciously take a sharp step to the right. At the same time, a huge bear rushes past me with a wild screech. What? <laughs> That's awesome. That's crazy. What a time. Hey, I'm walking here. I cast a reproachful glance at the swiftly departing giant. Its red eyes, in turn, look at me with mockery. Do you see that? How brazen. It was a truck. Oh, I see. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, there are bears with eyes on the back of their head. Are there bears with eyes on the back of their head? You could have died. Come on. Are you saying someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? Mm. I'm not in the world you're talking about. Yeah, did you see those aliens? Hey. My journey continues. I like that guy. He's doing a... A little... He's like midway through the robot move, where he goes, mm. My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts me, it adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I'm in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off helpfully. Whenever I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain streams that hide my tears. Right now I can feel a cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? Hmm. What do you guys think? I don't know. Cause she was saying... We're not in any world you know. Or something to that effect. I don't- I'm not convinced it's all in their head. Well, I mean it might be. It could be. It depends. It depends on the lens. I say nothing. You know what? What? Chicken butt. Since I'm a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading this right now. If you say so. I forcefully squeeze my head with my hands and place a thought block. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bench. The perfect place for cliche visual novel monologues. I move closer, place a noticeably weighty bag of weighted bag of milk next to it, and raise my head to the sky. Hmm. Listen. This is me for real, for real. I'm a little embarrassed. Haha. <laughs> I realize that I'm going crazy. The medications are becoming less and less effective, so... 
Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm talking about? I will be honest with you, and I expect the same from you, please. Well, I'm not really surprised. I must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it. Because now it costs me a lot of effort just to distinguish between letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not name my diagnosis. Let at least you be the one who sees me for who I am. Hmm. Even though I made you up, don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. How stupid does this all seem? From the very beginning you've been following me, reading my delusional thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. I must seem crazy and weird to you. To you? Haha. Uh -huh. What is it like to see the world through my eyes? Ever since something happened, all I see is red. Red blood everywhere. Hmm. No, don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Admittedly, I'd even forgotten what other colors looked like. Come on, haha. Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think that they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Of course, you couldn't help but ask. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have brought it up. So you're really that interested in what happened to me? I won't waste time. What do you see? Hmm. I stopped reading, I like zoned out. This game is kind of mesmerizing in its own way. I don't know. What do you guys think? Getting the kick out of it? Um, I mean, kick is almost definitely the wrong word. Um, it's tough. It's a little uh, nauseating, I think, in its own way. Um, yeah, Kibboot, I agree. Very mesmerizing. I'm drawn in. We do have a very difficult family. But despite all the problems, I never th would have thought... Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out the window and died. This is my last memory. Then a long gap. Strange. Very strange. Today's the first time I've ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course, the medicine helped me, however... I think it's more your merit. I was just kind of there. I kept thinking we mustn't screw up in the front in front of the reader, or oh my god, what will he think? Haha. -ha. I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today, but it clearly paid off. Thank you, thank you, thank you in return. You know. By the way, it seems to me that there's some boundaries in our communication. That's how I like it. Haha. -ha. You know, all the boundaries disappeared. And yet, I've been so sad lately. I've been thinking more and more about what my life has become ever since my dad. Well, you know. Hmm. Day after day, it's the same thing. 
I've tried so many medications that I hardly feel difference between feel any difference between them anymore. As long as they help keep me on my feet, I'm happy. But you know what? Today's a special day because I have you. You ever think about it? Well, I mean, I'm just thinking about it now for the first time. There's a reflection from the game up there um, talking to me. But that is also reflected in me talking to you guys. I don't know. Like, it's certainly a different situation because I'm 99.9% .9 sure that you guys are real. Um, whereas the protagonist of this game isn't sure that I'm real. Or rather, the me that exists to them is a made-up version of me. Made up by them? But you guys are real, right? Type real in the chat. Donate, donate, uh, subscriber coins to me if you're real. Um, ten dollars to prove you're real. Just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> For legal reasons, that's a joke. Spoon apparently isn't real. Spoon says, nope, I'm not real. Well, you're real to me. Today's a special day because I have you. There's so much I want to tell you. Oh, that was very rude of you. Hmm. Oh no. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm just advising you to go home. I understand. Well, dear reader, shall we go? When I get to my floor, I hang over the railing. Repeating this action every day like a ritual, I stopped being afraid of heights altogether. A few minutes ago, the effects of the medicine finally wore off, so I just enjoy the blissful silence. When I'm under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head. Mixing with the sound of the world around me, they create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and go to my apartment. What? Hello. Did you bring the milk? Hi, Mom. Did you bring the milk? Yes, Mom. Did your new medicine help? Yes, Mom. Go to bed. Spoon says, I don't like Mom. Um, not sure I like Mom either. I really like the pixel art in this, though. This is very, like, cool. This is also cool, it's just a lot creepier. Oh. And that's the game. Um. Now. There is a sequel to this game. <laughs> that I downloaded. That... I'm thinking, that was my fourth game that I had in mind, um, but I'm thinking, if you guys want to see it, that might be, that might be an undertaking for another day, because that was a, uh, that was a lot, I mean, it was intense, and it was sad, and, I don't know, uh, I think that, I'm, I'm unsure of the circumstances under which this game was made, um, but nor do I feel like I need to know. Um, I think that it told a, an unsettling, yet in a strange way, kind of, I was going to use the word familiar, but it, it's not that. It's like a, um, like, comfortable uncomfortable, I guess. Like, there's, there's certain comfort in the way that the game looks and in the way that the protagonist talks and, like, you know, all of that, but in the, 
in the honesty and the sort of framing of the world, I think there's a lot of uncomfortability. Comfortable, uncomfortable, I think is what I would call the game. But I would also say that it was cool, it's effective. Um, and, you know, mom. Um, so let's get it back on me. What would you guys like to do for the, for the rest of the stream? We have about half an hour left. We could go back, do some, some more Delta Manifold. We were playing that on Friday for anyone who's here. Um, I have some other games we could check out, you know. What are you guys in the mood for? Something new or something we've seen before? We could even go back to Cheese Quest if we wanted. Play with Stinky the Cow. Some more Cheese Quest could be fun. Yeah, alright, I'm down. Stinky the Cow time. But that means I'll have to adjust the volume, because this game was loud. <laughs> Rat brain. You're back. I, uh... I was worried you had left. Is... That volume looks fine, I think. Um... It's Cheem's time, baby. Alright, let's continue with our journey. Uh, yeah, let me know if the volume is too loud again, because... This game is mixed a little louder than the other ones, but... To me, it seems okay. We're... Almost back in? Jeems Quest! Alright. The Sicilian defense opening. It seems like you guys really like uh, Cheese Quest a lot. <laughs> I was like, what do you guys want to do? And everyone was like, Cheese Quest! I like Cheese Quest too, it's cool. <laughs> Nice. What are you guys up to this evening? What are you guys up to tomorrow evening? I know that for you guys you'll probably be... Hey, it's Stinker! Stinker the cow. That card. Wait, wait what was that voice? That card. Yeah. Um, we'll keep the rat out. <laughs> Kid Boots on parole. Interesting. What did you do, Kibboot? What, uh, what left you in that position? That's a win, just for me. And what are we getting, another stinker? Hmm. I think we ought to play more defensively, or offensively, than we did last time. Um, we took too many seeds, we didn't end up with enough cards that could actually do anything. Um. Uh, Kibbutz's response to why they're on parole is, let's just say, Bazinga. Alright, this is going to take us, I think, into starvation territory, but it's fine. Because now we pull it back. Oi. Can I, like, move the rats or anything? I just put them down for nothing? I don't know. Give me meat. Egghead Gumpty was funny, eh? <laughs> that was a... That was a funny little game. I, uh... I liked the I liked the feeling of that game. It had like it looked really um how to call it? Like the graphics and like the the cell shading was like you know, unlike anything I've uh played in a while. It sort of reminded me of like Outlast, not that I've played it, but I've seen like some videos of it. Um 
And, uh, yeah, that game is, like, creepy, but the graphics look really nice, and uh, Egghead Gumpty kind of look the same. You know what I'll do maybe tonight is uh, try to master my headstand, and then I can show you all. Or maybe I'll put my hand in ice packets so they don't hurt so much when I play Egghead Gumpty. Did I get lucky? Disembodied voice? I think I'm just popping off. So the flies work for when my opponent puts food down on the other side, but my opponent has never done that. I'm glad you guys are all enjoying Cheese Quest. It's a big hit. You can't beat my stinker. Nice. And we got milk! That gives us cheese. Um, let us protect the milk. I think that's a good call. The music changes every time you get milk. I guess it's because milk is the most important. It's fine. I've already won. Check this out. Oh. Wait, no, I haven't already won. Um... No, I'll win in another turn. This turn, I've won. Now turn cheese. Yeah. Now it's harvest time, baby. That easy. The cow-cheese combo goes undefeated. I actually think... Thinking about it now, flies is a good idea because we just throw it up like a blocker. Terrible start. E Z. Alright, Stinker. You know, let's. No, Stinker should go at the front. Alright, but we're in kind of rough now because we have very little food. We need seeds. And, yeah, I think that's worth it. And then we can kill the rat next time. I'm not starving yet. Alright, Stinker's a cow. Get some more seeds down here. Survive us a turn. And then... Cool, we're in it, we're in it. Hmm. Now we gotta draw seeds, milk. Alright. Fuck Mary Kill. Seeds, wheat, and milk. Like, conceptually, not literally, but like, um... Hmm... I would probably... Kill milk, I think that's easy. Maybe fuck seeds and wear marry wheat? I feel like... Yeah. Wheat is an all-time great. I've won! Simple as that. I think more seeds helps us. Oh, 
All right, but I'm just worried they're gonna start playing dogs over and over again. Kibboot says it is a fool's errand to marry wheat. And why is that, Kibboot? Which one would you marry? All right, now give me a dog right here. Oh no, it's Stinker. Oh, but the Stinker will get the dog because the Stinker has good attack. Nice. Kibbut, you marry milk? What the hell? That's gross. Sorry, Stinker. Take more flies. Just to run interference. Getting our free turn, getting our bountiful harvest. What you I really- I still can't get over this. You would marry the milk? That's, um... But what if, what, if, what if you were lactodes intolerance? You can make yourself lactodes intolerance if you eat too much of the... of the, um, of the milk. Hmm? No response. See? We- Wheat lovers stay winning. Alright, what are you doing? No! Um, a wheat lover's pizza. That sounds good. It's like beer pizza. What do you guys think? Is this a million dollar idea that I've been sitting on? Wheat Lover's Pizza. Yeah, and you can get like different different flavors of like the, the sauce. You can have like a like an IPA one or like a like a stout pizza. I think this is an award winning idea. What does the I do? I don't think they told me. I need stinker. No. There you are. Nice, nice. Everyone's in the chat loving this idea, by the way. This wheat lover's pizza. They're all like crazy about it. They're like, and and yes. Make us some wheat lover's pizza, please. Um. Just in case anyone who is watching this in the future is, is curious about what's going on in the chat. They're not upset by this idea, like, at all. They're like, actually, they really love the idea. They're still actually talking in the chat about we no. Wait, use the eye. What does this do? Oh. <laughs> well, I died again. You guys proud of me? You have perished. Perhaps you require some assistance. Let's see. Choose a card to use as a base. Dude, I'll do seeds this time. Next, choose a card to augment its stats. And then we use stinker stats. Yeah, that's fine.
<laughs> what if I just called it wheat? Nice. See, cows actually evolve into seeds. I don't know if you guys knew this. But this is this is the way of the world. <laughs> Maybe we should all like play against each other in this. Do you think they have competitive online multiplayer for a cheese quest? You know what it actually now that I've said that, you know what it kind of reminds me of? Do you guys ever see that Card Wars episode of Adventure Time? It's kind of card warsy. Oh, that's a great episode. I love Adventure Time. Man. You rat. Yo, Stinker 2. That card. Um. No. Yeah. And then I, I'm the one who throws a fit when uh when I lose. Wake up honey. Yeah, that's right. Spo Spoon says wake up honey, new stinker just dropped. Oh wait, I need to place my milks. Otherwise how am I gonna win? They're my win condition. Alright. I'm running a, a milk deck. It's your turn. Wait, I could win right now, I think. Good game. I need to remember that that I can do that. Just like rush down the uh, the counter. Also, Stinker 2. Perhaps the most important card in our deck. <laughs> Kibboot says this is such a fu fun game. Um, you mean that for real, for real, Kibboot? Because I agree. I actually think this game is a lot of fun. You just, you know, do your do your wheat stuff. The Wheat Defenders stay winning. I've been telling you guys this. <laughs> oh, you guys all like this. Well, I guess maybe we'll revisit... Um, we'll revisit some uh, some cheese quests in the future. Because I'm also... I'm loving it. It's, uh, it's very easy. Easy on the hands when they hurt. Um, and it's... Uh, it's it, well, it's not an easy game, but it's sort of... Like, easy to play. Um, yeah. Also, for anyone who was here on the last stream, would you guys like to see more Delta Manifold, or are you, uh... I don't know. How, how did you guys feel about that? Um... Kibboot does want to see more of that. Okay. Yeah, we can uh, we can check out some more of it then. Uh, maybe tomorrow, Tipsy Tuesday. Um, yeah, and there's some other games that I have that I've been meaning to check out. So um, we'll get to it all. It's gonna be great. You guys are gonna love this. So much great stuff coming up. Why do I have this dog just burning a hole in my pocket? Seeds, you protect Stinker too. Oh. No, this is an easy win. And then you just do this. And we eat, we eat and... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I probably would have done that anyway.
All right, cool. Which ones do you guys prefer, Stinker 1 or Stinker 2? I kind of like Stinker 2, the, the uber buff cheese, or the uber buff wheat. Turn any food type card opposing it into rot at the end of the turn, and then it will die. So true. Just, he's just like me. <laughs> Look at this harvest. Wowee. Yeah. Thank you for the warm wishes, by the way, while I whinge and cringe about my hand. Um, I'm just a stinky baby, is all. No, we've won already. Nice. Yeah, I like a fly, it's just a little blocker. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Okay, I'm watching. We lose net gain one. Alright. The viper comes out. Stinker two gets to safety and the rat takes out the viper. And if anybody comes after Stinker two, mm -mm -mm, would not approve or appreciate. Alright, then the rat takes out the, the Logos. Throw up a little buffer in front of Stinker 2. Mmm, coffee. What's the best farm animal? It's not pigs, I'll tell you that much. It's definitely not pigs because they did animal farm and that wasn't very good. Um, the dogs, I, I like, you know, like the the sheep dogs or whatever they're called, the, the herders. Kibby says a goat, but that's just because I'm starting to, you know, think that you might be, uh, you know, goat affiliated. You love the milk? Hmm. <laughs> I think uh, horses are pretty cool. Are goats really? <laughs> Gabriel says, excuse me. Goat affiliated, not as in you are a goat, but like, you enjoy the goats. I mean, don't like, when we were playing uh, Delta Manifold the other day, you were like, really enjoying the cultists. And don't, isn't like, aren't goats affiliated with cults in some way, or is that... or am I getting confused? Goats and... Satanism? I don't know. Who knows? I'm making stuff up, but I'm sticking by it. <laughs> Gibby says, yeah, you got me. I knew it. Why do I have these, uh... Oh. Yeah, I got it. If you can just max out your board. Oh, they're affiliated with witches. Got it. Okay. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah. Horses are cool. Dogs. And then I was going to say, are goats like... I know on some farms they are, but are they like common farm animals? I'm honestly not that familiar... Don't know why I did that. Not that familiar with the farm landscape. Um... Anyone here grow up on a farm? Or, I was going to say, or just me, but I just said, it, not me. It's not me. <laughs> Wait, what do you do? Um, um, 
So we're just about reaching the end of the time that I set aside for this stream. Um, oh. Kibu knows people in Ohio that have uh, goats on a farm. Anyway, I was saying, reaching the end of the time. Um, I'm having a lot of fun, but I think I'm going to wrap it up pretty soon. Um, maybe after this game. And, uh, yeah, but were you guys enjoying yourself today? I certainly was. Um, and, uh, yeah, I like to think that I'm starting to get somewhat better at streaming. I know it's early days, but, uh, I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm grateful to, uh, you know, to be meeting some new people that are... Okay, I won. Uh, to be meeting some new people that are, you know, a part of what I hope to be. Or what I hope is, like, a, a growing community. Um, seed build, wheat build stays winning. Here. Check out how quickly I'll do this one. Yeah, thank you guys for coming. Um, give me a follow if you haven't already. Tell your friends about me. Uh, you know. We're, we're all on a... What is it? What's the saying? Like, we're... We're all on a boat, like, we all, like, float together. I don't know. It's something about, you know, teamwork. I can't quite remember. Um, oh, thank God. Didn't get stinker. Um, Alright. Um, yeah, after this battle, which I think I'm about to win, um, yeah, I'll wrap it up. But, again, thank you guys. Um, yeah. um, great to see you all. I'll be here every evening this week, uh, except for weekdays, or week night, week, weekends. God, my mind is all over the place. What do they put in this mom fuel? Yummy. Um, yeah. Weekends. I don't stream all other days. 5 to 7 Eastern Standard Time. Um, let me actually close this out. Get big face. Every weekday, 5 to 7 Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out. Had a great time hanging out with you all today. Um, I've been and continue to be and and yes. And love you all. Take care. Bye.